There is great confusion and great misunderstanding around this gift. Tongues is an unknown language. When the Holy Spirit comes on a person and they start speaking in tongues, they're speaking a language that they don't know. So they're saying words out loud, but in their brain they're thinking, I just don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm saying these words. And these words, you know, there's blessing that comes in it, but my mind is not sure what I'm actually saying. But the Holy Spirit is giving me these words. It's a very curious thing. It can be, as we've seen here, it can be human languages. I guess, does that, is there a possibility it could be a dead language that's not spoken anymore? Maybe, I don't know why that would happen, but you never know. God can do anything. It could just be sometimes a spiritual language. Perhaps it'll be the language that will all, I'm sure there'll be a universal language in heaven. So maybe it's the future language of heaven that we're speaking. Or uh, it could even be an angelic language. The point is about tongues is, it's a supernaturally enabled language that the person speaking it doesn't know. That's what's going on. And as we're speaking in tongues, God uses this gift. Why? Why did God give this gift? It's so, yeah, there's something a bit strange about it, right? Something a little, little peculiar about it. God glorifies himself through this gift in a few ways. The person speaking in other languages is blessed by the experience. There is, um, I, I speak in tongues, and other people have spoken in tongues. It's a, it is a powerful experience to do this. There's, there's a wonderful experience of God's presence as you do this. But also you grow. There's, there's this spiritual transformation that happens in you. In 1 Corinthians 14, it tells us this, verse 4. It says, the one who speaks in a tongue builds himself up. So there's something that the Holy Spirit's doing in us as we're speaking in these unknown languages. We're being built up. We're being strengthened. We're being encouraged. We're being helped somehow by this. And that's the kind of anecdotal experience that people will tell you as they've spoken in other tongues. They'll say, yeah, I just, I feel God's power as I do. I feel growth. I feel God doing something in me uh, as I do this. Now, if you're somebody who uh, has done a lot of improv or you just, you know, you're not short of words, um, learning how to pray may not be a barrier to you. You may be like, yeah, I can easily pray. You know, I've kind of got a loose tongue and can say lots of words and praying can be easy. But I guess even with that, um, sometimes you can be stumped when it comes to like, if you're frustrated with God or you're feeling stuck or you're just, you know, you're dealing with a difficult situation in your own life or someone else's life, you can sometimes struggle to know, how do I pray? And this is the other reason that the gift of tongues is given. The gift of tongues takes you beyond your your native tongue, and it takes you into a realm where you can, where you're sensing that you're praying things or you're speaking things, you're saying things that are beyond what you could normally communicate. Paul puts it this way in Romans, Romans chapter eight, verse 26. He says, likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. So there is this sense that the Holy Spirit helps us go beyond what we can normally communicate with our own. Because sometimes they're just not the words. Are there? Sometimes you're struggling. You're, you're feeling something, but you say, I don't have quite the words for it. Well, when you start praying and speaking and talking in tongues, oh, now I'm going beyond. Now there's a sense in my spirit that I'm actually saying the things that are inside. They, they, they're coming out. When you like and subscribe, this video reaches more people.